Well, this next threat affects all ages, but especially kids, and the warning signs are in your toes. Now, what we're going to talk about is something called coelonychia, or spoon nails, all right? You can see here what a normal nail looks like. It's nice and rounded, but if you have a spoon nail, it's kind of concave, you know, curved inward in the inside of the nail, and on the outside of the nail, it's kind of ridged up a bit. And if you, you'll notice, it can actually hold water like a spoon does. And that's a problem, because it can be a sign of iron deficiency anemia, mm -hmm. which is a big problem. It's actually a, more of a problem in toddlers, because at that age, you tend to exactly. not be breastfeeding anymore or getting the iron-rich formula, and you're not really eating all the good iron-rich foods yet. Yeah, and those kids tend to eat, drink too much cow's milk, and so, which blocks uh, iron absorption. So, you know, that's one of the reasons. And one of the reasons we, it's such a big deal is unchecked, untreated, iron deficiency anemia can cause uh, mental delays, learning problems, things like that. So in the office, we actually screen all babies at about 9 to 12 months, and then again at about 18 to 2 years. So yeah. it's important. Really important. And also for women, it's very important. A period or menstruation can actually cause um, not only just a mild form of iron deficiency anemia, but severe anemia um, from hemorrhaging that can uh, lead to life-threatening circumstances. Mm -hmm. So any woman who's having really, really heavy periods, we check her blood as well. Mm -hmm. And there are some fixes that are fairly simple. Iron-rich foods can help. And Dr. Shears is actually dishing up a pot of powerful prevention with his Iron Man chili. <laughs> this pot is about to boil over with a heap and helping and vitamins and minerals for you. Yeehaw! Kidney beans, black beans, a serving of either of these beans give you 20% of the iron you need. Put them together and they pack quite a punch. Another big bean bonus, the protein plus fiber combo keeps your cholesterol and blood sugar in check. Of course, the big iron boost comes from beef. Ooh. Listen to that sizzle. Lean ground beef provides you with 25% of your daily iron. To really pump up the power of your chili, use filet mignon. It's got 38% of the iron you need. Since I won top prize at a chili cook-off, do you want to know my secret ingredient? It's hot sauce, because I know the judges like it spicy. But here's a surprise that's nice. Just one teaspoon of cumin delivers 15% of your daily iron dose. Molasses enhances the flavor and the iron total by another 13%. Your body absorbs iron best when it's taken with vitamin C. Tomatoes, tomato paste, and bell peppers provide just that. Mmm! Mmm! That's some good chili! This is my recipe. Chili is actually my favorite food in the world, but I just want to point out, this isn't sour cream. This is non-fat Greek yogurt. And Ooh. you will not notice the difference. It's got a third of the calories, and instead of being bad for you, like sour cream is, it's actually good for you. All right, thank you, sir. All right. I'm holding you to that.